Okay, here's what we're going to need to do our little uh, patio lantern. Of course, we need our mason jar. This is a pretty, pretty vintage green one that I bought at Walmart, right? They're um, advertising it as vintage. I thought that would be pretty to do. Um, so we have our jar. We have our bale making pliers. These are awesome for grabbing on the wire, and we're going to need a bigger loop. So I'm going to use this end, and I'm going to use the larger. Um, I'm going to use the smaller and the larger in our decoration, decorated sides of our wire. Full flush, heavy duty wire cutters. These are made by Xeron. They're very, very good. Love, love, love them. And flat nose pliers. Now we're going to make the collar and the handle out of 14 gauge soft wire. And here I have 18 gauge soft wire for the wrap. I used 20 in the example but I'm going to see what 18 looks like so that you can see what that looks like also. Or you can leave the handle just plain. Uh, that looks very nice too. So um, you can add beads. Uh, you would want, probably want to use glass beads because even though you're using tea lights, you know, it's not going to get that hot, but why take the risk? So maybe, maybe I'll pop on some beads too. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, for the collar, we are going to need probably 10 to 12 inches for our, our collar that's going to go around with our two loops on the side that our handle is going to connect to. And then the handle, I figured out the two decorative sides, the loops, they take about three and a quarter inches of wire. So that would be six and a half inches just for the decorative sides. And then for whatever else you want for your handle, just add that in there. So if you just remember that if you want a eight inch handle, it's four inches on each side. So just kind of figure how how high up you want your handle to be and then figure that into the six and a quarter, six and a half inches for the sides. And then our wrap wire, I'm gonna say, let's do four or five feet of it for a wrap around. It just depends on how, how thick you want it to be, how much of a handle you wanna do. You can always add more wire. Um, you can uh, maybe do a base of wire and then add beads. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm okay, so I have my 10 inches or 12 inches of wire cut, my 14 gauge, and I'm using bare copper. Copper Outdoors uh, gets a really beautiful patina on it, so that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just going to let the let nature take its course and make it look real pretty. So we're going to flush cut the end first with our flush cutters. Then we're going to take our bail making plier and we're going to use the very the, the very tip, the smallest part, and we're just going to turn a basic loop. So I'm just going to roll that over. Okay, and so that's what we end up with. Just a basic loop. Now we're going to get our jar and we're going to place the loop so that it faces outwards, okay, just right on its end. So this back side is going to lay up against the jaw, or the jaw, the jar, the jar. Okay, so now we're going to wrap, we're going to wrap our wire all the way around. Oh shoot, I forgot, we need a marker. We need a Sharpie too. So let me get my Sharpie. Okay, I got my Sharpie. Okay, see where this is? See where our, our, our loop is right here? What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hug this around our jar and we're going to want to look right down the middle. We want to center this jar. So we're going to center our loop and we're going to come down here right across the center of the jar and we're going to mark our wire right across from there. So we're just going to come here and give our wire a little tick. Okay, then we're going to take this off. So there's our, there's our little mark right directly across from our loop. Now we're going to take the small jaw of the plier again and we're going to hold it so that the the, that the uh, mandrel is on the outside of the wire. Now we're going to take our long piece of wire that we haven't done anything with yet and we're going to take that and we're going to wrap it around all the way around our mandrel. So we end up with an outside loop like that. 
See? And it's directly across from the other one. There we go. We have two matching loops. Now we're going to take our jar back and we're going to put this I like to even it up around the, the flatter sides of the jar. And we're going to bring our wire around, hugging it nice and tight. Okay, and we're going to kind of crisscross it across our loop here. And then we're going to take our flat nose pliers and we're going to bend this wire straight up. And we're going to put the bend kind of back behind the loop here as opposed to the inside because what I want is I want that to really tighten up when I go and turn that turn that loop. So we're going to take our flat nose, we're going to come here on the outside of our wire and we're just going to bend that straight up like so. Then we're going to cut it to about, oh I don't know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch long. And then we're going to hook them together. So we're just going to take and take our end and put it right up into our loop like that. Now we're going to take our plier and we're just going to pull this ah shoot down and around like so okay can you see that see how I've spun that around and I'm going to continue bringing that around like so Okay, and now we're going to cut off that tail, and the flush side goes towards our loop. I'm going to come right in here, and I'm just going to snip that off. And then I'll take my pliers, we're going to take our pliers, and we're going to... So that's what we end up with. So see, we have our, we have our two loops on the sides, and that's what we're going to hook our handle onto. And you can go ahead and, and, and straighten them out a little bit. There we go, everything looks great. Okay, so now let's make our handle. So I've got probably, oh, I don't know, 14 or 16 inches of wire cut here. If you wanted to go ahead and pre-cut 18 inches, that's a safe uh, amount to, to uh, work with. Okay, so we're gonna flush cut both ends. All right, and now we're going to take our our trusty uh, bail making pliers and we're going to use this, this, the smaller end again. So we're going to turn a loop, just turn a basic loop, okay, basic loop like what we, what we had before, although now this time we're going to use the back side, the larger part of the plier, and we're going to open it up and we're going to place it right up against our loop and so that it lays on the back side of the loop. And now we're going to take our wire and just wrap that around. Swing your plier around so that you can clear it. Okay, and you're going to bring that around so that it's at a 90 degree angle like so. So we have a nice figure eight. Now we're going to put our plier in the top here and we're going to bring our wire straight up to center it, to center the wire over our figure eight here. So we can use our flat nose if you'd like. So that's what we have. Whoops, that's not very straight, is it? There, that's what we have. Just like that. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so that these are matching. They're mirror images to each other, okay? So my loop is running around this way, which means I want to turn this on its side like this. And then I want to go directly across to this side, this end, and do the same thing.
Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to write this wire to. And we're just going to bend that up to a 90 degree angle. Make sure it's in the center. Okay, so this is what we end up with. So we end up with, ah, these on either end. Oh, I can't get this to, got one on either end. Okay. So now we're gonna wrap this with wire. We're gonna do wraps around the handle and that's super, super easy to do. So we're gonna take our soft 18 or 20 gauge wire and I've got probably about uh, four, four and a half feet here. And we're gonna start at one end and we're gonna wrap. Just loosely, you know, just, just it doesn't have to be right next to each other. Just wrap, 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 wrap down, then come back, back up, and then wrap, wrap, wrap down, and just keep coming up back and forth. And you can get as loose as you want and um, get as creative as you want. So um, let me get you started on that. So we're just gonna wrap this end here. We're just going to start wrapping our wire around the end. To secure it. Okay, so now we're just going to start wrapping. Watch yourself with this wire. It gets whippy. You can take an eye out. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and start wrapping. So now I'm just going to wrap. Now, depending on how long you 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 want your handle to be, you're of course gonna. I left this handle a little bit on the long side, so of course you're gonna need more more wrap wire. But you can always add it as you need it to. So I still have more wire, so I'm just going to go back the other direction. I have a little bit left, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do that loosely. Okay, I don't have enough to finish to go all the way to the end, but that doesn't make any difference. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that around and scrunch that in. Okay. All right, so this is what we have. Isn't that cool? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to twist open our ends, and we're going to attach them to our jar, and then we're going to form our handle, and then we're done. I didn't put beads on it, but you can get the general idea. So, got our jar. We are going to take and we're going to twist open our ends. Twist it open. Okay, and now we're going to attach it and close it. You just twist that loop back right where you found it. So there's what we have. And now we're going to attach the other end. And what I do is I just take it and I just, instead of shaping my handle, I just bow it out. Let it bow out naturally. And then attach it. A little stiff. Oh, I twisted it the wrong way. Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta untwist this. Twist it out the right way. There we go. Oh, 
holy moly, what is my problem here? There we go. Okay. Close that. Okay. Here's what we have. Isn't that beautiful? It's so cool. And look, you have this decorative little swirly thing going on the sides here.